This is the exposed right side of the cow's abdomen. The abdominal muscles have been reflected, the skin and abdominal muscles have been reflected, exposing the abdominal contents. The liver is clearly visible here. It is in contact with the right abdominal wall. Immediately caudal to that is the kidney, which is lobed in the cow. The adipose tissue surrounding the kidney has been peeled away to expose the organ itself. The descending duodenum is visible here on the right-hand side. As in other species, it runs caudally on the right-hand side and is suspended by a short mesoduodenum. In the bovine, there's extensive development of the greater omentum, which is visible here. It attaches to the ventral edge of the descending duodenum and the greater curvature of the abomasum. So all this region here is the superficial leaf of the greater omentum. Also in the cow, it's noticeable that the omentum is infiltrated with adipose tissue, which is not so common in other species. The abomasum is visible here. This is its typical position. It's the true glandular stomach in the ruminant, composed of a greater and lesser curvature. The greater curvature has the attachment to the greater omentum and the lesser curvature that of the lesser omentum. Part of the abomasum lies on the ventral abdominal floor and the pylorus is in this area. That will be exposed on a later dissection. Visible also here is the gallbladder just ventral to the liver. On a closer look at the right abdomen we can see the mesoduodenum, which is the mesentery of the duodenum present here, and cranial to that is the pancreas. And immediately dorsal to that is the caudate lobe of the liver, which is in contact with the right kidney. This is a dissection of the left side of the abdomen. The abdominal muscles have been cut away and most of the ribs have been removed. Clearly visible is the subiliac lymph node, which is palpable in the cow. It lies midway between the tuber coxae and the patella. Immediately cranial to that is the pregnant uterus. So due to the large size of the uterus and its position within the abdominal cavity, the rumen is compressed and moved slightly cranial in position. As a result, the dorsal sac occupies most of the visible space and, as you can see, it is not covered by greater momentum. The ventral sac is covered by greater momentum and the attachment to the greater momentum is visible here. This will be exposed on a later dissection. This is the superficial leaf of the greater momentum and extends ventral to the ventral sac of the rumen and was also seen on the right hand side of the abdomen. Attached to the dorsal sac of the rumen is the spleen which lies under the rib cage and does not have an omental gastrosplenic ligament as is present in other species.